Hello, welcome back to the channel. We had to move our RV from one site to another site. And when we wanted to put the steps in so we could move, this is what happened. Did you hear that? They're stuck. Let's see if I open the door what happens. But you hear it? That's the motor. We've got to replace it. I'm going to show you step by step how to replace this motor. The motor's worn out. You hear that buzzing? It's because the motor is no longer strong enough to bring the steps in. I'm going to show you how to change out that motor and how to discover that it is the motor. And so you stay with me and I'm going to show you. Well, here's the reality of the situation. You see this yellow light and you hear the motor buzzing. We have power to the steps and there's only two other things it could be. Let me show you. It could be this controller right here. This is the one that controls all the sensors that come to it that uh, activates the motor when the door is closed or open or if the switch is set so that uh, it stays open uh, the steps the steps stay out when the door is closed or open or it could be this motor right here that is worn out or it could be the linkage right here this is a gear in here it's a big gear in here and i'm going to show that to you later but I can tell you right now with a high degree of certainty, it's this motor, right? One reason is when I close the door, I can feel this. When someone's here to close the door, I can feel this vibrating. It is this. It's either that or it's binding in the gears here. There's a big gear in here. This is not belt run by a belt. It's run by gears. And uh, so the most common thing is this motor easy fix i'm going to show you how to do it and i'm hoping that's the problem well the absolute first thing we're going to do is turn the power off and the way you do that is with this little thing right up here this little connector right here see that connector we disconnect that that is going to keep these steps from coming in accidentally and put a hurting on your head we don't want that do we we're going to keep that from happening by disconnecting the power we don't want this thing coming in on us and hitting us in the head, right? It's going to hurt. Let me show you how to do that. And what we're going to do is just take this and disconnect it right here. You see this right here, this little clip. You just pull it up and it's a four pin. And now there's no electricity. And now we're safe to work on our uh, steps and remove the motor. Like I say, we're going to take this motor off and there's three screws here. They're about an inch and a half, two inches long. We're going to take them off. And let me tell you why I'm, why I'm doing this. Make certain you turn the electricity off. And the other thing I want to tell you is try not to be intimidated by these things. They, this is really not that complicated to do. This motor I ordered from Amazon and it was like 32, $33 or something. Okay, let's take it down. And there it is, there's the motor and there's the gear. These gears just slip off. And I'm gonna show you the uh, linkage in here in a little bit. But right now we're gonna unhook the motor and there's a pin right here. There's a, see right here? You simply, it's this part comes off, this housing stays on. So what we're gonna do is just pull it. And there, there the motor is off. Now the next thing we do after removing the motor, we've got the motor off, is you disconnect the linkage and you do that. There's a carter pin here in here and I, I went ahead and took it off already but you simply disconnect 
the linkage like that and the steps are free. Well, we got our new motor in and before we install it, I advise you to take this opportunity to lubricate the steps. Since the motor is not connected to the steps any longer, the steps will move freely and it's a very good opportunity to lubricate your steps. I'll show you how I do it. So as you see now, our steps move freely. Great opportunity to lubricate them. I use the uh, silicone quick drying here. I don't want like a greasy lubricant. If I can help it to collect dust and all that, you don't want that. This will work just fine. You don't have to give it a lot, just a few squirts, just a real short squirt. On each little, each pivot point. You might want to put something under it uh, to keep it from dripping, but uh, it's just silicone. Anyway, for time's sake, I've already done all under there and all in here. And all you do is since it's freely moving, just move it back and forth like that. And now your steps are really lubricated. Time to put the new motor back on. Well, it's time to take a look at our new motor. We're going to compare it to the old one. It is identical as far as I could tell. Let me put it up here. See? I mean, the distance and the measurements are all the same. Even the pattern on the back is the same. The pattern on the front is the same. Now you see one difference here is this doesn't have the, the new motor does not have the gears. So we're going to have to take this gear off and put it on our new motor. Take these two washers right here and then take this and slip it on there. Just like that. And one of the things we're going to do right prior to putting this on, put this the old, new motor back on, is we're going to inspect the linkage. We're going to inspect that the big gear that's in there, make sure the teeth, all the teeth are there. Uh, if it's too worn or if it's missing any teeth, we'll have to replace the gear, the linkage itself. No big deal, four bolts, we could do that easily. But I'm thinking we're not going to have to. We're going to take a look at it. We'll put a little bit of grease on our uh, shaft here. Take the two washers that came off, the old one, put them there, put it on, and really uh, coat it really well with grease. Now we're going to check our linkage gear to make sure it's not missing teeth or too worn to be used, and then we're going to install our new motor. Incidentally, you need a good light to do this. I have this this one at the uh, that I've had for years. It's a real strong light. So uh, you'll need that for sure. So this is a good time to take a look at your linkage. That's uh, that's that gear right up in here. See that big gear, the one with the blue on it. What we're gonna do is take our linkage and look at all these teeth here. We're gonna move this link here and look at all the teeth on this gear. all the way around and I see absolutely no problem at all. You've got to hook your linkage up first. It's a simple process of just putting that in and put the pin in. So let's do that first, absolutely first, just like this. It's very simple. You just slip it in here. I'm gonna slip my pin through here. Find my hole, it's that simple. It's absolutely simple, see that? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a hairpin instead of a cotter. Okay, we're going to take our motor and what I'm going to do first is go ahead and connect. Go ahead and connect the wiring. Now let me get that little hole. Let's see, it just slipped right in. You see that? I mean, it just right in. And all we do is put our old screws back in. You don't want to over tighten this. Just give it some really good snug. Okay, 
the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our power. You can see there's a little clip right here. That's where this goes right here. And this little green part here, that's a waterproofing little cushion because this subject to some tremendous weather being under here like this. So four can just snap it in just like that. You can see our yellow light came on. So we've got electricity, we've got power to the steps. And what I'm gonna do is come back later and install zip ties on all this and really neaten it up and clean it up. But we have our linkage installed here. We've got our new motor on. We've got our power on, we've got our power connected. And so now the moment of truth. Was it the motor? Let's check it and see. I can't wait. Fingers crossed. <laughs> well, we've got our new motor installed. The linkage looks good. We've got our linkage hooked up to the motor. We've got power to the steps. There's no reason this should not work. I could not see any other reason other than the motor. So this is the moment of truth. Well, here we are. Let's keep our fingers crossed. And so what did it cost to repair these steps? $32 and a little bit of grease and some effort and willing to learn how to do it. You can do this, I promise you, you can do it. You need a 10 millimeter wrench, a pair of pliers, a cotter pin or a hair pin, a little bit of grease and a new motor. You get that motor from Amazon for $32, 32 or $33, that's all it costs. You take that to an RV repair, they're gonna charge you $1,000, I promise you. You don't take an RV into an RV store, RV shop, repair center for less than $1,000. It just doesn't happen. So be sure to subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell so we uh, make some other movies, you uh, video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you would like, leave a comment. We appreciate it. We'll see you next time. We're going to do some more RV hacks, tips, and tricks. RVR USA saying, catch you later. Take care.